So I was stuck in this wooden room and I couldn't get beyond it. Like I couldn't go through the walls or the window. It's like a living room, just made out of wood completely. And there was a straw coming through one of the walls. And the only way to get out of the room was to go through the straw. It was like a bamboo straw. It was about a half a centimeter in diameter. So I'd have to shrink myself quite a bit. And there was an entity on the other side, like sucking on the straw. Apparently, I had to go through the straw to get out of the room, and I wasn't comfortable going through the straw while he was sucking on it. Like, I can shrink myself to that size, no problem, but I felt like he was going to turn me inside out, or it was going to turn me inside out. If I went close to the straw, some entities that are not bound to life forms, they don't really have a gender. I mean, they might seem to have a gender if they're recently deceased, but gender is specific to life forms, maybe just on Earth and specific uh, ecosystems. But gender is not an entitative thing. And that probably goes against the whole yin yang thing that the Asians have going on, but whatever. Read Robert Monroe's books and you'll understand what I'm saying. But, anyways, I eventually got out of the room, like I just teleported out somehow. And this guy, or this entity on the other side, he was like, I can help you. And I was like, okay, can you get rid of my sleep deficiencies? Because I want to experience the physical universe like everybody else. I mean, sure, the sleep deficiencies that I have allow me to get out of body very easily, but I have all the time in the world to explore the astral world after I die. I may only be able to experience this physical universe once or twice or you know, a limited amount of time, so I want to experience it fully. That's why I've been trying to correct my sleep deficiencies, and I asked this one entity to, you know, see what he can do about it. And it was like, okay, but there's going to be repercussions. And I said, okay, what kind of repercussions? And it didn't really tell me. It just kind of kept quiet. And I was like, this isn't a movie, like, you can tell me, you don't need to keep the secrets, that's not going to be anomical or anything. And it didn't say anything, and I was like, dude, just tell me, and I'll give you a yes or no answer. And it didn't really say anything, so I was like, okay, I'm out of here. And I went and did a real-time projection, because you don't want to agree to these things unless you know exactly what the intent of the other entity is and what the repercussions would be if they were to help you out or what they want in return. You don't want to be around secretive entities. There seems to be some entities out there that can keep secrets or kind of keep to themselves in the astral world, but for the most part entities, especially humans, have a hard time lying and keeping secrets and you know not communicating when they're prompted to. Everything just kind of comes out in the astral world. But there's some of them that, you know, they just don't respond. And I don't really bother interacting with those types. Because you don't know what's up with them. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching or listening. See you next time.